Hello, my little lovebirds. I've missed you guys, even though it's been like two days. Um, today's video is going to be on this look. Ever since I posted a picture on Instagram wearing this makeup, I have gotten so many requests to do a tutorial. It's very pink and purple, and there's glitter. There's a green lower lash line. There's a little bit of everything going on, but I love this look. I think it's super fun. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. I'm like super wound up right now. I just have like so much energy to get out. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you guys would like to see how I got this look, don't leave. Stay where you are. Grab a snack, but don't leave. And keep watching. Bye, guys. Okay, lovers, jumping right in with primer. I'm using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I did also use my Smashbox Primer Water, but Lord only knows where that clip went. So right now I'm just using the Makeup Forever, and then I noticed there was some stuff in the way which I didn't like. So now I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way in Natural Beige, and I'm so professional. I'm just like blobbing this on. I kind of thought it was comical. Mm -hmm. You know how I do. And then I'm just pouncing that in as hard as humanly possible with a beauty blender. Like look how hard I am pounding that thing on my skin. But you guys have seen me do this many times so I just kind of sped through it. And I was watching Desperate Housewives so if you see my eyes kind of slide to the side, I'm sorry. Then I'm going in with my Morphe concealer in Oats. I love this concealer. It has such good coverage. It's a little dry going on but the coverage is so good. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't crease. It's bomb. And then I added a little tiny bit of my NYX HD concealer just because it's very light and I just wanted to brighten things up a little bit. I wish Oats, Oats uh, was a tiny bit lighter. Um, and then I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender but you can see like, look how good that coverage is. It is a gorgeous concealer. I really like it. I've been using it, like, every day. So, yeah, just blending that out. Throughout this whole entire video, I look super pissed, but I swear I was not. I always seem to look mad during voiceovers. Um, now I'm going in with my NARS Crystal Pressed Powder, and I ended up just setting my entire face with it. This powder is so light that you can use it everywhere, and it just... It just looks good no matter where you put it. It's my favorite powder ever. Then I'm going in with my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer, the best eye primer in the history of the world. If you have oily lids, you need it. Then we're starting out with the eyes. So I'm using my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm taking the pink shade. Hang on, let me grab the palette while I'm here and I will tell you guys what color I am using. It is the color savage i was gonna say that and i thought i was wrong so i just take that through my entire crease and it does take a little while to really blend it out but i just focus it mainly on my crease and then once there's not that much product left on my brush i will really focus on just blending it out but it does take time i was blending for a good 10 minutes but it's so worth it like the blown out pink crease just looks so badass to me i love it then I am taking the silver shade from the electric palette, which is called Revolt, and I'm putting that on my lid. I do end up going in later with another shade over top of it because I just wanted it to be a little bit different, but that is a really cool silver shade. Then I'm taking the purple shade, which is Urban. I love this color. It blends out so nicely, and I focused that on the outer lid, like the outer part of my lid, and I just kind of like pull it forward so it gives it that almost like faded ombre effect. I keep all the purple on the outer part of the lid. Now I'm taking this Luxie shadow from Luxie Beauty and this one is in the shade Duper Star. I'll have everything listed down below. I couldn't find my Marc Jacobs, my little three pan purple Marc Jacobs palette because that's usually what I would use. So yeah, I was a little bit annoyed. The Luxie shadow worked good but it just wasn't the same. And now I'm just blending everything out so there's no harsh lines. Then I took my Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, just the black one. I think it's M10. And I put that on my waterline. And this was the first time really using it. And it lasted really well. 
Then I'm taking Urban and I'm putting it on the outer part of my lower lash line and just kind of blending it out. Sorry if you guys can hear doors slamming. All of a sudden, everybody is opening and closing doors. But I'm just keeping that on the outer part, like the outer half of my lid or my lower lash line. Then I'm taking another shade from the Electric Palette. I freaking love the Electric Palette, you guys. This is the shade Thrash, and I feel like this makes the whole look. This and the glitter, and I just focus this on the inner half of my lower lash line. I love that pop of green. I just think it's so cool. Then I just took a basic black eyeshadow. I used Makeup Geek Corrupt, and I just very, very thinly lined my upper lash line. And... I took a little bit of nylon from MAC because I can't resist using it. I took it on my brow bone. Oh, and I do use it on my inner corner also, but I guess we're going back to the eyes. So now I am using my Sephora powder in... I, oh, it was a little dark. Um, actually, I lie. I was using Shade Stir from MAC. That's why I thought it was too dark. I started out with the Sephora powder. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Everything will be down below. And then for blush, I am using Rockator from Benefit, which is such a pretty blush. I just love it. And then I baked and I used my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I am almost out of. But I just put it on with my beauty blender, let it sit for like five minutes, and then just wipe it away with a big fluffy brush. And it makes such a big difference. I totally am a fan of baking. And then for highlighter, I used You Do You from Ofra. It's their collab with Dupe That. I love this highlighter. It has this like peachy gold. Ugh, so pretty. It's so intense. Yes, you guys, you need it. Is it still available? I think it is. Um, and that's uh, still what I'm doing, putting it on my nose, on my cupid's bow. And now I'm wiping away the bakeage. And then we are going to go in with glitter. And as you can see, I applied my lashes. I wore Velour Girl You Crazy, which they're like my all-time favorite lashes. But I took my Urban Decay Glitter Liner in it's whatever the silver shade is. I know, so, should, I know these things ahead of time. Glam Rock. And I put this all over the inner half of my lid. And I also put it on my lower lash line. But I kept everything on the inner part. And I just feel like this glitter makes such a huge difference and it makes everything just look so glam and fun and oh, I love this eye look so much. And now I'm putting nylon on my inner corner. The inner corner pop makes such a huge difference. Don't forget the inner corner. For lip liner, I used, I'm pretty sure I used Urban Decay Naked, which I had just gotten in the mail and I really liked it. And same for lipstick. I used Naked from Urban Decay, which I thought was going to be a little bit lighter. I just realized I used a ton of Urban Decay products. Um, it's not sponsored. I thought this was going to be a little bit lighter on my lips. It ended up being a little bit darker. So I went in with my Kylie lip gloss in Like, or So Cute. I'm so sorry. So Cute, which is the lightest shade just to kind of lighten things up. And I really liked the combination. I think it was, I think it was pretty nice. And then I realized I forgot lower um, mascara, so I used my MAC Giga Black Lash. And that is it, you guys. I hope you like this look. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm going to put a little bit of pample mousse on, because I want to get my metallic on. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so much better. Oh, my gosh. Pample Mousse, you're my savior. I love you, Pample Mousse. This is my favorite one from the Jouer, like, liquid lipsticks. This is so good. So metallic. So, so good. <laughs> you are so today, people. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to go bottomless. Did you ever just get a hankering for cherry pie? That sounds sexual, but really, like cherry pie. Like, I'm just hungry. Okay? Jeez! Let a bitch live. If you like a baby, show the booty ring on it. If you like a baby, show the booty ring on it. Don't be bad, I want to see it. I'm going to watch the
so dry, dry as you know what. An old vagina. I don't know if when vaginas get old they get dry. I just assume that like a 90-year-old vagina might be a little bit desert-like, okay? It could not, it, it might be flowing like the River Nile. Who am I to judge? Mmm, I freaking love this lip. Pample moose, you little pample bitch. Pample moose is my pample bitch. For the love of Jesus. So both my batteries are officially dead now and I'm not even done filming. I need some more highlighter. This is too depressing. Lock up your pants because my camel is on the loose. Give me a new chunk called. He wants his hair back. <laughs> you ain't funny.